All right, let's learn about using named ranges. Now, just to review a little bit about what a regular unnamed range is, remember if we want to refer to another cell, say this horsepower here for the Acura Legend 200, then we could just say equals, and that's cell K3. So equals K3, enter, and that will refer to that cell. Or we can refer to multiple cells at one time, by using a colon. So what if we wanted to refer to all of these horsepower numbers? Well, normally that's gonna be in the context of using say a formula. So maybe I wanted to know what the largest horsepower is. Then we could say equals max, open parentheses, and then with the left mouse button, click and hold and drag down. And when we do that, Excel is going to enter in those ranges for us. And if we want to see what it did, we can click on the cell and look up here in this little formula bar. Or if we want to see it a little easier and edit it, we can double click on that cell. So equals max K2 colon K94. Now, if we know the range is K2 to K94, we don't have to use the mouse to highlight. We can do the same thing, like equals min K2 colon K94. And we can hit the close parentheses and enter, or if we just hit enter, Excel will automatically close the parentheses for us. So that's just a little lazy shortcut we can use. And again, to look at that again, min K2 colon K94. Now here's where named ranges come in. What if I want to do a lot of different things with this horsepower data? Instead of having to constantly type K2 colon K94, we could just set up a shortcut name for this range, K2, K94. Let me show you how to do that. So the easiest way I know is just to highlight the data once. So K2 to K94. And this little box here up at the top left is called the name box. Left click once in the name box. And then we just want to type the name that we want to give this range. And I'll just call it HP. Hit enter. And now, anytime we use the letters HP, it's going to know that we want to look at that horsepower data. For example, equals average HP. And whenever we type in HP, it helpfully highlights the numbers that we're looking at. And all we have to do here is hit enter, and it's going to tell us the average horsepower. So one of the most common things for using named ranges is when you're looking at the same data again and again. Now it doesn't have to just be one column. We could do another named range and we could just, I don't know, highlight some random block of data here. Again, click in the name box and I'll just give this a name like rando, rando. And this is lowercase. So now if I wanna say, what's the highest number? Equals max rando. And the largest number in that range is 4,105, and we can see it right over here. Now there are some other formulas that we're gonna look at later that use named ranges in a little bit more complicated way, but now you know how to use them in some basic ways to save you some time. Two other things that you need to know about names. First, if we click this little drop down arrow in the name box, it'll show us the ranges that we have named. And if we just want to double check anything, all we have to do is click on one of the names and it'll show us where that data is. The other thing that you need to know about names is what if I want to delete a name or what if I made a mistake when I was setting up one of these named ranges? All we need to do is go to formula tab here and click on the name manager button. The name manager similarly, it shows us the two named ranges that we created. And if we want to delete one of them or if we want to edit one of them, then it makes it fairly easy to do so. So if we wanted to change this from K2 to K94 to something else, then we could do that. Or if we wanted to change the name to something else, maybe HPB, for example, then we've just renamed it, close, and then when we click our little drop down box over here for our names, we see that that name has been updated. Please join me in the next video where we're gonna look at some different ways to sort our data.